To some families, it's the gem of the Inland Empire, a Moreno Valley clinic for patients who couldn't find care anywhere else. In today's People Making a Difference, Elsa Ramon takes us inside the Access Clinic. You're doing this, like, boom, 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 nice and calm. It's like wonderful when you can connect. It's a busy morning on the first floor inside the Riverside County Regional Medical Center. Thank you, Kobe. In treatment room one, Dr. Emma Simmons is taking care of 19 year old Kobe Tavares. Kobe has seizures and development delayed and can walk or talk for himself. In treatment room two, almost done. Almost done. Dr. Scott Allen is taking care of Mark and Stephen Rosenbrook. If you get a hug from these boys, it's real. Mark, 25, and Stephen, 24, have autism and developmental delays. Four. Hello, big boy. A generation or two ago. Patients like this were all kept in state institutions, that old institutional model. These days, people with disabilities are far more likely to grow up in more loving environments. But transitioning to adulthood can be a medical nightmare. Once the Rosenbrook boys turned 18. It was like, yeah, well, you know, they're going to die young anyway, so who cares? There's also the problem of time. You've got seven minutes to express all the behavioral changes, all the medical changes. The developmentally disabled really can't be effectively seen and treated in a eight to 10 minute visit. And they don't have to at this one of a kind clinic in the Moreno Valley. The Access Clinic hopes to teach the rest of the country how to care for adults who have special needs. We do reading. Visits here aren't timed. Doctors take as long as they need. There you go. There are lifts and pulleys for patients who can't be touched, and patients too afraid to come inside can be seen in the parking lot. Are you doing okay? Kobe's mom, Zulmira, remembers the first time she saw Dr. Simmons take her son's hand. That brings so much joy to me because she's not afraid of touching or talking or be close to him. For the Rosenbrook family, Hi, Dr. Hi, Stephen. <laughs> it was a relief to find doctors see past the differences, it's all right. witness all the good, <laughs> and become partners in keeping them healthy. That's a godsend. Good job. High five, Kobe. A good day for me is when my patients are doing well, when they've gotten everything that they need. <laughs> and that's a good day. Elsa Ramon, CBS 2 News.